All right, it is 1230 and I will call the Pet Friendly Task Force Committee to order. For all those present while my computer loads, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. All right, committee introductions. It's a small group, but we can skip that one. Recap and discussion of mission and vision and value statements. Abby, do you wanna add something or? Yeah, so I'll take up. There you go. All right, so we met what about two weeks ago, a small group of us to really start pulling together our mission, vision, and values in uh, an opportunity for us to really start getting some momentum to move forward. So this was the really the very rough draft of what we pulled together. So I think a big step would be looking at this and what we feel is appropriate and what we feel is maybe not necessary um, as we want to keep it as short and simple as possible without overcomplicating things. Mm -hmm. Thoughts, feedbacks, comments? From anyone? I mean, I think it's certainly open to additional feedback. So. I think. Do we feel like it's going in the right yeah. direction? It, I mean, I think this committee overall has a lot of different avenues of purpose that we have so there is a lot to encompass within this yeah um so i think you know looking at the the different pieces you know we do have a large vision but there's a lot of pieces that are within that and i think breaking them down really helps us to stay on task and aligned with what our goals are i think this definitely does help too because in conversations abby and i had too i think it was you know a little more difficult getting the ball rolling and getting started. Um, just having some clear points and direction of, of where to move forward to in terms of how we can plan and u utilize city resources, especially um, I think one thing the committee needs to think about too in the next few months is, is when we do our new strategic plan, um, just in terms of, of where we might fit in that, in terms of how we provide feedback um, as well. But that's still kind of down the road, but it's something that we need to to keep on, keep on the back burner, keep on our radars as well. So, mm -hmm. um, I had a question for Joe. I guess just in terms of, I, I know I saw it somewhere, but just in terms of like you know, we had conversations about identifying parks um, and making accommodations for pets, or better notifying folks of what the regulations are and putting the no sign limit. There are parks that are having more issues, um, so to say. I uh, didn't know if you had any feedback or, or thoughts on that of how we wanted to move forward. I, d I definitely am thinking one of the um, parks and uh, city ordinances are definitely gonna be a, an action item yep. um, that we would take a, a, a big look at. Um, again, we, we have all the information, we have our ordinances, we have you know, dog friendly map. Um, uh, we definitely want to look at um, what we, what things we could allow um, that could work to maybe help alleviate some of the things that are, are going on where, where they shouldn't. Uh, you know, can we take a look at specific areas, either seasonally, time, during certain times, or, or whatnot? We've had a lot of good ideas. I think it just, uh, um, you know, a, a few people really just need to sit down and um, you know, look through, uh, I've, I've handed out things for Madison and other areas. So just, you know, how we'd like to move forward with, you know, allowing and, and, and play areas that we definitely would not allow, yep. you know, playgrounds, an example, mm -hmm. ball fields, especially when they're being used, things like that. But can then we allow, the, you know, in certain parks, more dogs on leashes? Um, and I think too, just kind of I'm looking at this point, offer multiple safe spaces where both that are welcoming to pets, 
pet allowing owners, I think, you know, we can kind of start teeing up conversations and maybe um, folks from the bid, the business improvement district or the chamber, just to kind of, you know, tee up conversations about, you know, restaurants or bars or places outside that might allow um, dogs to attend or, you know, mm -hmm. or things like that. So I think that's, again, something we can put on the radar um, just to kind of discuss or if we have different thoughts about you know, areas that, that might make more sense um, in the long run in terms of what we can do for that. So those are just some things off the top of my mind uh, with reviewing the notes. Yeah, some I, of that was in surveys. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if, um, are we going to move forward with that survey? You know, we could kind of gather a bunch of questions right. to kind of see, get some feedback from our citizens. Yeah, did we? Decide on it. Well, I think we we hope you know with the uh, the new pound the uh, thing that's coming out for the city um, it is oh, to do right. a survey. Yeah, you know. Well, I think part of that was um, hoping that we get a more active uh, core group, and if there'd be additional things, but I think otherwise it's ready to go when we're ready for it to go, and have a way to get it out there. Okay. Maybe you, Abby, and I, you and I talk kind of offline too if we want to tee it up. Okay. Yeah, Joe, I think you're right. Pound the table or what the engagement thing is supposed to be starting, I guess. I would think that a, a big piece that we would want to work through in the next couple of weeks is the budget part because you your budget is due, what was it, by the end of August? I would think, uh, you know, so if this group we talked a little bit about a budget. If this group was to, to come up with some type of a budget, how would that work? Could it be turned in so that it could actually be looked at? Would it, is there, is there an area that this could be put on? I, I don't foresee a huge amount, but education and, and um, things like that. So, um, so we did discuss that and, you know, if we did turn in a budget by the, um, by the given time, you know, if it could be looked at. Are we thinking um, like its own item? That in the it budget? could, it could, like it could like go under self? parks. Oh, okay. It could be its own line item. Um, and it would be I'm not sure. like the thought was if it could tag onto parks as like, yeah. you know, if we're, if we're trying to educate the community on what parks are pet friendly or if there's a new park that was made pet friendly that there, we could do a Facebook boost sure. to try to you know reach a larger audience, and again, not we're not talking you know multi thousands, but small amounts. I think the other conversation was like way stations, and if there would be you know changing out some of the receptacles to be dog way stations, if that's worth it, if it's not, you know what the right decision to make there is. It sounds like they're already pretty overloaded with their garbage cans right. as it is. <laughs> Other comments, feedbacks, thoughts? So if we wanted to change an ordinance for the park, would we need that survey completed prior to that being done? I think that's a, a, a great thing to have, you know, the survey, and then um, then go through the process with that because that could give you a backing of, of uh, you know, really for or against it, I guess, but it would give you some kind of backing to move forward with. So putting a timeline together? I wouldn't think that could be accomplished this summer. Probably not, no. So no. could we make it our goal that by next spring we would have? I think that's a great goal. Have something, something like ready that. to roll out? Yep. Because sure. I think parks is a big part of it. We yeah. really yeah. don't have locations. And I would think even really looking at like bars and restaurants, that's again shooting for spring because the, the majority that are would be able to and willing to do this are places that have outdoor seating yep. um, because of health codes. Um, and so really, I think we can take the time over the next couple of months to determine what places, you know, have already are pet friendly. And then if there are places we want to get in contact with and start talking to them so that once it gets warm again in spring, we can kind of roll this all out together. Mm -hmm. 
So I don't know if anybody is aware of this, but there's a bill right now going through the state. Um, it's been passed in the assembly, bipartisan, nobody voted against it, and now it's moving to the Senate, and it's to remove some restrictions about letting dogs in businesses. That's I, can, I can forward that to everyone. It looks like restaurants right now have an exception if they want to have dogs outside, but this would remove, um, like bringing your dog into Food Farm is one of the main points in here. Hmm. And other. I like this. Food Farm customers are frustrated by the restrictions allowing their dog in the store. I just want to see if there was a bill number on this. I think I'm not paying down. I'll email it to the Yeah, group. that'd be good. So if that gets any publicity, that might help us. Mm -hmm. And Michelle, for clarity, when you say spring, you mean to make a recommendation to the parks, Marina and Parks, or, okay, that's what I thought. I don't have it still yet. <laughs> Any additional discussion? Okay, we'll jump to 3.3 .3 discussion of the group in the rules and responsibilities. So clearly it's uh, getting a little smaller here, so we got to start doing some recruitment. I don't, I don't think there's, you know, we're not an official standing committee, so we don't, you know, which, which is a good thing. It allows us to be more fluid and flexible, um, but I didn't know if there was a respectable number of what we want to cap membership committee. Um, stuff on, but I think, you know, if folks just want to kind of start tapping into their network um, and seeing who might be interested, run it by me, uh, and we can make those appointments. Um, and I think I have some folks teed up in my, my committee um, expression questionnaire, if you will, that, that might be interested as well, too, that I can find, so. Um, we I did have one request that just passed, I, I guess I didn't pass along okay. to you, I'll pass along to you, and, and um, Alder person Grazio wants to definitely be a part of it, even though this time probably doesn't work for her meeting, but sure. she definitely wants to be a Okay, a part I'll touch of this base committee. with her too. Um, <clears throat> but just kind of folks kind of tap into their network if they know some individuals that might be interested as well. Yeah. And um, Pam Hurdle said um, yeah. uh, she, she regrets she can't be here today, but she's excited to join. I okay. think she'll be active. Okay. Um, is, is it possible for us to put some sort of um, I don't know, a, a stipulation into people that are on this group of if they miss X amount of meetings in a given period of time, because the since I've started, it's so hard to get quorum every yeah, single time. Yeah, I think we have to be more. And so if it's, you know, if you miss three consecutive meetings or three meetings in six months or, you know, something along those lines that we would ask people to resign from the committee just so that we can move forward. Yep, I think that's a good stipulation that we can, that we can tie on to things too. And then can I just ask one practicality question? So with Betty stepping off as chair and Laura being willing to step in as chair, is there anything that has to happen, like a letter or anything like that? No? As long as no one offers an objection, I think it's fine. So No objections for me. Any objections? <laughs> <laughs> so, and see, this is what I mean, like have not having official, right. you know, we, we can be more flexible and fun, so. And the other thing, I mean, so meeting to do like a meeting like we did last time, just to sit, be able to sit around the table and actually not have to worry about yeah. this. Can we do more of that? That was really productive. Yeah. yeah. Subcommittee. Right. Yes. That's yes. okay. Yeah. Cool. I just ask, is there, do we think this meeting time works for people? I mean, now that we're down to smaller group, I don't know if we want to reevaluate that. Does it work for you? Yeah, but. I think it's more like lunch hour meetings do work, okay. as long as people are just kind of, you know, able to plan around it and stuff, so. Cool. Any additional comments, questions, thoughts, ideas for the general good then? Yeah. All right, next meeting will be August 25th. Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. 
Is there a second? Second. All those in favor of adjourning, please state aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. We're adjourned at 1245. Thanks, Scott. <laughs>